Coach, uh, Howard goes for 19 on 6 of 16 shooting. What was your kind of evaluation of the way you guys defended him tonight? I, I thought we did a good job on him. Uh, obviously, he made a couple big ones out of bounds play in the corner. Uh, Mike lost him, got clipped. I'm not sure. And then he, then he next play, I think he rejected a ball screen and got down in the paint. And um, you know, it. And the thing I think I appreciate. When he overdoes it, they can take him out, and they have other guys they might execute better without him. Um, and, you know, I think they found that out the other night, um, that even without him, they can score some points. They got 70 or so the other night without him. Uh, you know, you got to give – they were very focused. They played tough, physical. They were ready to play first half. Uh, we didn't – you got to finish twos. You're nine for 34 in the first half from two. Um uh, and and you uh, you know their their bench stepped up. You got you know Kane comes in. He's two for ten. He goes three for four. Seventeen points, nine rebounds, and then Elliott's three for three from three. So that's pretty productive. I, I you know I, I we I thought we played a lot harder. We gave ourselves a chance in the second half. Completed some you know made some plays. Uh, but when you the game should have never been thirteen at halftime because. You know, you got to make your free throws. You got to make your layups. We had two missed layups in transition. It ended up threes on the other end. Um, and, and you know, that's a – instead of us getting plus four and they don't score, uh, you know, they're, they're plus six on those plays. So, uh, you know, that you just got to get better. Uh, you know, Antonio, the Gordon twins, you know, great activity for freshmen. Got a lot done, but obviously stronger – Finish some plays, make your free throws. Uh, you know, it, it. They make mistakes, but they're doing it with great energy. Both, I think one had 15 on the play hard, and the other one had 12 or something. So they they were very very active. I know it's kind of an obvious question, but against a team like that, how killer is it to not be able to get over 40 percent in either half shooting? Well, I said to Wyatt before the game, I don't realize, I don't think people give them because they score and because of Howard. If you really study their defensive stats, they hold teams to 39 and 28 from three. And it, it, I, I was worried about it. Um, you know, and those big guys, you got to give their big guys credit. They don't get the ball much, they, but they play hard. The three big guys just kind of rotate. They're physical. They, they, they're smart. They, you know, they, they set screens. They uh, defend the, the, in the paint uh, and rebound for them. So. Uh, they right right now they got a good pretty good mix and obviously when you make shots like that 12 for but it was not only the shots but it was the right play the penetration the kicks uh, you know that that you got to give them credit and and we got to you know <laughs> we have to be a little more patient I think we we made a little bit of strides and and uh, get a little get more open shots and and then finish the ones we we get at the pay, at the basket. I know Xavier had a tough night tonight, but he uh, reached a thousand points and five hundred rebounds tonight. And I was just curious if you could express just what he means to this team. Well, he, you know, he a great young man, and you know, great family. Cares so much. I think sometimes he cares too much. Um, you know, we were worried about foul trouble. We knew as soon as we got one, we you know, he got one on Howard right away. We got him off. And he got a second. Um, you know, it got him to the third in the in the second half, and you know we actually made the run with him and Mac on the bench. I believe we got made the caught up. So, um, but he, you know, a thousand points, five hundred rebounds. That's that's a mouthful. There's not many in the history of the school. Uh, Wyatt had a bunch of other stats. Tom did. You know what he's done. It, it's he's he's done a lot, and hopefully he'll do a lot more. And and we've got a lot of games left and keep making progress, but appreciate him. He wants to be a leader, but he needs help. He needs help. And, uh, you know, that, that's got to come from somebody else. What kind of progress have the freshmen collectively made? Well, you know, I, like I said, they, they've done some pretty good things. Uh, you know, you look at the numbers, they, they barely overdo some things, but – you know, if Antonio makes some of those free throws, he had offensive rebounds, five, he had eight rebounds, probably played him too much. But, you know, without Montavious, you're kind of in a bind, and, and they had pretty good size. Um, so it, uh, you know, he's done well, Dejuan's done well. 
you know, we, we shouldn't have to depend on them. That's the biggest problem, I think, more than anything. Do you feel like Dejuan gave you the kind of energy that you Oh, need? God. You know, they let us on the play hard. Though, I mean, this, they had double digits. Guys don't get that their whole career. They had more than some of our guys already have the whole year. You know, that's diving on the floor, loose balls, deflections, offensive rebounds, all of those things. And, you know, they play their hearts out. They just got to get stronger and learn the game a little bit. And hopefully that will come with some time. What does Montavious give you that you're missing with? Well, defensively, there, and then you you just uh, you don't have to play Tony so much. Uh, you know, low, he's a better passer than Tony. Uh, you know, I I just think between them that it it'll help us. There's no doubt. And, you know, I hope it's sooner or later, but we got to be patient with him. Uh, Luke just does not want to take a chance and him get hurt again. Then he's out for six weeks, and now his freshman year is total waste. Uh, Marquette goes uh, 12 of 22 on threes. What were some of the main issues there? Well, I just said they, they made great plays. Some of it was we missed the layup, and then they got transition. Uh, we had our, we had our advantage breaks or, you know, four on threes or three on twos, and we didn't finish them. Now they're going the other way. And now they, you know, they made the extra pass. That they had 18 assists. Uh, they did have 18 turnovers. So, again, we, we turned people over, but – we don't take advantage of that you know, and do a great job of, of, you know, points off turnovers. We had 14, but they had 18 turnovers. So only seven of those 18 did we really get anything. Where's Cardi at right now, and what more do you guys need from him? Just a little more consistent. And, uh, you know, he, he's got to finish some of those points. If he's going to go to a hoop, he's got to finish some of those baskets. Uh, you know, it, it – I think they all thought it was going to be easier than it was. And it's and now you're on the number one guy in the scouting report. You're the, you know, they're teaming up on you. They're ganging up on you. He said after the other day to me, well, when I drive, everyone's coming. Well, then make the pass. You know, and, and uh, they were physical. They're good. I said they were pretty good defensively. I, I You know, obviously they shut us down. So, and I, I'm not sure we're an offensive juggernaut yet, but, uh, you know, the, you know, just be, you know, again, I, I, I use those words, consistency, dependable, and efficiency. And that was, you know, that was back in August. And right now, we are not consistent. We are not dependable. We are not efficient. And that's got to come over the course of time. And they're, they're new. This is all new. It's a new team, uh, new positions, new roles. And, you know, I, I wish it was easier. And, but it isn't, it hasn't come as easy as we all hope. And, you know, we just, we just got to help them keep coaching them, working with them and hope we make some strides. Um, when you say you wish Xavier had more help in the leadership department, who are you going to look to these next couple of well, somebody, years? Well, somebody else has to have a voice, emotion. We got to have some emotion. And, and it's got to come from somebody beside me. I, I told them after, if, if the coaches, if I and the coaches have to bring the motion every day at practice, we're in trouble. It's going to be a long season because it, 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 just, it just can't, it, you know, I, I think I've told you guys, Dell Harris is the one who asked me one day who brings the motion to practice. He said, if you have to do it every day, you're in trouble. It's got to be the team. And, and you know, it, that's got to come. It's got to come over the course of time. How, how much do you guys need to get a key win here in the non-con? I mean, the, the opportunity is kind of slipping away a little bit, do you yeah, think? Uh, I mean, I'm just worried about Alabama State, to be honest. We got to get get better on Monday and Tuesday and play better against, not just beat them, we got to play better. So we feel good about ourselves and execute. And, uh, you know, just one step at a time. Then we, then we get on a plane to New Jersey, see if we can get after Mississippi State. And then... And you got a week of exams, see what we can do after that.